Welcome to my Xbox 360 repair shop. This video was going to show you how to prevent the red ring of death and the E74 error. Now 99% of the problems are with the GPU overheating. And the reason the GPU overheats is because there is no airflow. And I'll show you why. Now as you can see, the front and the left side of the console is black. Now on the inside of the console, the DVD drive is completely smothering the GPU heatsink. And no airflow over the GPU heatsink is the reason that it gets the red ring of death and E74 error. To create a strong airflow over the GPU heatsink, you need to remove the DVD drive using these long cables. To buy a custom manufactured 20 inch power cable, Go to a search engine and type in airflow cables. When the DVD drive is removed, the Xbox is able to keep itself cool because of the added airflow. And the temperature inside the console stays between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And lead-free solder under the GPU does not melt at these temperatures, and that prevents the red ring of death and the E74 error. Here is one mod that has the DVD drive painted and mounted on top of the console. As you can see, the eject button works just like it did before. There is also a metal screen to protect the motherboard here. Now keep in mind while you're modding that the more electricity running through the Xbox motherboard, the hotter it gets. And the same is true with the wall socket. The more things you have plugged into one socket, the hotter it gets. And that would explain why the original intercooler used to plug directly into the Xbox 360 motherboard, but now the newest intercooler has an AC adapter that plugs into the wall and not the Xbox 360 motherboard. Now I recommend using a 4 inch fan that has a plug and placing it in front of the Xbox. For more tips on keeping your Xbox 360 running cool and other modding ideas, watch our other video and visit our website. Thank you for watching.